Today we're talking about how to load LUTs onto your Panasonic S1H, GH6, S5, or really any camera that supports vlog. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson, and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically budget gear, tutorials, and a look at the projects that I'm working on. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. So today we are looking at how to load a LUT onto the S1H or any Panasonic Lumix camera that does have the vlog view assist. And we're gonna start by talking about how how you would actually make a preview LUT, specifically in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm not gonna go through my whole entire process of grading S1H footage in DaVinci Resolve. That may be another video. And so we're gonna start with an already graded shot, but we're gonna walk through the steps on how to create the LUT that you're ultimately going to import into your camera. So once you have your shot graded, what you're gonna do is in the thumbnail at the bottom portion of the screen, you're gonna right click on that thumbnail of that shot. And in the drop down menu, there's gonna be some options of creating LUTs in a dot cube format, but we're looking at creating a .vlt. And so there's a last option of creating a Panasonic .vlt file, and that's what we're going to choose. So you can take that shot, right click on the thumbnail for that shot, and then choose the Panasonic VLT option when you're creating the LUT. But something else you want to consider is if you're using the preview LUT on your Panasonic camera, what you're going to have to do is have the file name of that LUT not exceed eight characters. Now DaVinci Resolve, even if you save it with an eight character file name, will append some information on the file name for that LUT. And so what you'll need to do is wherever you've saved that LUT, you'll need to change the file name. You'll need to actively change the file name, or at least in my experience, you'll have to actively change the file name to an eight character file structure. And at that point, it is ready to be exported onto an SD card if it's not already there. And so once you have the LUT on the root folder of the SD card, simply eject the SD card, put it into your camera. Now from there, some things may vary of where you might go, but you're gonna go to your camera settings tab and you're gonna go to your monitor or display settings and in there should be the vlog view assist now if you put the LUT onto the SD card properly with the right file name you'll go into the vlog view assist and you'll see an option for read LUT file if that is grayed out or not available there is a possibility that the file name is too long or potentially it's not on the root folder maybe some other issues but those are the main reasons why it may be grayed out and so if you've taken all the proper steps you'll select to read the LUT file and from there you'll choose the LUT that you want to import. There may be a couple. And so once you choose the one you want to import, there's going to be a couple of slots for you to actually put that LUT. You can actually load in several different LUTs on your camera and actually toggle between the ones you want to use at any given time. And so basically once you choose the LUT, you'll select then what LUT slot you want that LUT to be imported in. That seems like a lot of redundancy. Okay, so now we've imported the LUT into the camera. Let's talk about how to use that LUT. Once you go back to the vlog view assist, right under the place where it says re-LUT file, it has the option to select a LUT, and that will give you the option to choose a LUT you want to preview for. And from there, you can also choose whether or not you want to preview for your direct monitor on your camera, whether it's the EVF or the tilting monitor. And also you have the ability to apply that LUT onto your HDMI feed. So if you're using a monitor, you can actually use that LUT preview as well being fed into the monitor, which is really cool because if you have a monitor that doesn't have LUT preview capability, you can actually go directly from the camera and do LUT preview that way. And so that's how you load LUTs onto the Panasonic S1H, GH6, S5, S1, S1R, all the cameras that have vlog and the vlog view assist option. And so with that, if you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands and I'll see you here next time. Peace.